Um, so I would like to introduce our first speaker. He's based in Wales. Um, he has got, he's actually, I've spent some time with him whilst being in Wales with Umar Didi and, and Sedanti Maharaj. He's just very loving. He's just very honest. He's very welcoming. Uh, you know, he's the way he's raised his children up are just so wonderful. They're, they're just such beautiful kids that he's raised as well in Christ, this Krishna conscious movement. And uh, he's just an ideal, actually. He's a very uh, a person to look up to. Uh, he joined, uh, well, he took Harinam from Srila Gurudev in 1998 and then Diksha in 2007. Um, but, you know, from this time I've spent with him, he's uh, someone that actually, I like, I, though I have never really told him this, but I actually like spending some time with him. He's, he's, he's a, a remarkable person and very inspiring, like I said, for a Grihasta like me in particular. So uh, without embarrassing him any further, um, I would like to introduce our god brother, uh, Bran Valla Prabhu from Wales. Haribo and welcome. Jai, thank you. All right, you can hear me obviously, yes? Yeah, lovely, brilliant. All right, down the bats. It's my first time ever doing anything like this. Uh, forgive my offence if any are made. And basically, I'd like to share my experience of Guru Dave's causeless mercy. So, I will start. So, um, Gurave Gora Chandaya Radhika Tadale Krishnaya Krishna Bhakta Yada Bhakta Namo Nama Omagyana Tinamanda Shirgananjana Selecta Chakshurum Militam Yena Tasma Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishni Padaya Radhika Yakne Shishimar Bhakti Vedanta Vishami Tinamane. Okay. So, yeah, so I first started on the Krishna conscious path in blah, 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 about, around about 96, 97. Started going to the manor weekends, week here and there. A very good god brother of mine had been to the manor for a few years and had met Guru Dave before I had about two years before. And um, I was just about to start the back to course. And he, I said, I'm going to Wales. Would you like to come and meet this sadhu, sannyas of Shula Gurudev, Narayan Maharaj? So I was like, yep, yeah, you know, okay, then let's, I'll come along. <clears throat> so um, rewind a little bit. At that time, I was living in a bed sit, basically rotting away. I like to call this from gutter to guru, because literally I was living in the gutter. And I'm not ashamed to say at the time I'd had about 10 years of heroin addiction behind me. And so you can imagine I was literally in this bed sit. I'd been chanting, reading Prabhupada's books. And I can remember reading Easy Journey to Other Planets. And at the time I was trying to pick apart what Prabhupada was saying because but yep, until them days I didn't believe in God in any form. I was God, you know like this and I looked up the back of the book and I couldn't find the book but this picture of Prabhupada is on the back and I remember looking at this picture of Prabhupada thinking wow this knowledge is coming down through this man and coming through this and I was in this bed set on my own literally just rotting away just blown away from this knowledge you know so that's what started getting me going to the manor so as I said, I was uh, just about to um, join in on the back to course. <laughs> and he said, yeah, let's go to Wales. So I went to Wales, <clears throat> not really knowing where I'm going to see Guru Dave, never met, just going along. Anyway, we get to Wales, been there a couple of days and it was on the Shringer Dave's appearance day. And initiations were going on. People were going up the stairs to Guru Dave's room and suddenly I just, was in this crowd going up the stairs into Guru Day's room. And we all sat down, everyone standing up, sort of asking, you know, why they would like to take initiation. Guru Day's pointing to different people and you next, next. 
and it comes to me and I'm sort of sat there looking at everyone thinking initiation you know I didn't even go there looking for initiation yeah it's just <laughs> anyhow I stand up and good Dave looks at me and I start to speak and I stood up and said but good eh? I have a problem and he looks at me with those blue eyes and what is this he says and I look at everyone around me I just thought be honest as I said good eh? I have this problem I've been using heroin now for about 10 years and he looked straight at me and he goes problem this is no problem inside I was thinking <laughs> no problem to me you know probably this is every you know is this anyhow he goes this is like a mushroom he goes it has no roots if you give to me I can take like this and I'm thinking, I actually said it, you're not, you're welcome to it, you can have it, you know, <laughs> you know, he goes, you're like a rose, I always remember, he goes, you're like a rose, like at the moment, you're like this, but soon, you know, you'll blossom, and at the time, I'm, you know, I'm thinking, you know, that, that's, and, you know, anyhow, like this, so he, at that point, you know, I sit down, he sits down, and we're going through, and that was it, a chariot Ratna Prabhu. He was there. And, and he goes, and why should I give you initiation? And he could sort of see I was a bit, and he just stood up and goes, well, good, Dave, he's here, isn't he? And like, hmm, good, Dave, that look. Okay, very good, sit down. <laughs> sit down. The next day, you get, I get initiation. And at that time, I get given the name Palabadas. So, okay. So from that, so I'd try and keep up to these 16 rounds that he'd asked me to chant. And obviously with my hectic lifestyle at that time, I was chanting maybe one round, two round, whatever. But I did try and stick to everyday chanting somewhat, you know, reading and chanting the best I could. So um, from that point, I was corresponding with Guru Dave back and forth emails how my life was going i.e from worse to worse at that time it still took me another 10 years actually after that point to what I call come clean from using substances but throughout the whole hellish life that that was I had this rock which was Guru Dave and I always used to think, why me? Why did Gurudev give initiation to me at that time? Because, you know, a lot of people were chanting this amount of rounds, this amount. And there's even people in that room who even said, no, come back when you're doing this, this and this. And it wasn't until a few years later that afterwards it came to me, why me? But obviously it's Gurudev's causeless mercy, you know, when, boom, what, what could I do? You know, look what I was doing before. That's what on my own back, what, what was getting me to. So, yeah, it's, it's that course of mercy, it's, it knows no bounds, you know, for, even for it to affect a solid heart of my own, you know? And obviously, as you were saying, raise three children, you know, and that's crazy enough. <laughs> All boys running around, but anyhow, it's, yeah, no, it's lovely. So, um, for me, hence why I wanted to do this is to try and put over that mercy from Sri Guru is just, it's phenomenal, isn't it? I, I can't, you know, who am I to try and explain that unlimited pool of that causeless mercy? It's this craziness, it's phenomenal. But, you know, here we are coming up to a centennial. Hence why I thought I'd try and share what I can. I've never done nothing like this. I thought, I've got to try and glorify my beloved Guru Dave as much as I possibly can. Um, I was just saying. So that was it, yeah. As physical um, meetings with Guru Dave, I never really had money, many. I was always the, the person sat at the back of the class, you know, like head down, just, you know, listening. But after he left our physical presence, it was after, for me, that's when I sort of got more in touch with Gurudev then, i.e. through his books, lectures, videos. 
So for me personally, it's since Gurudev has actually left, I've got to get closer to him. I haven't had to try and get through Brajanath or Madhav Maharaj, you know. <laughs> I've been able to just direct, you know. So for me, it's, yeah, it, it's, it's been a crazy journey, but I'm there, I'm here now and, you know, hopefully, you know, carry on a lot more, keep bringing up my children as best as I can in this Krishna conscious movement. And my eldest son, he's 10, he's profoundly deaf. You know, he, he can hardly hear anything, but he'll sit down with his little medanga that he's got and he chants beautifully, you know, better than me, totally more sincere than any of my chant ever been. And that alone just goes to show again that causeless mercy of Gurudev. I remember speaking to Bon Maharaj about him being deaf. And yes, we know about karma and all this stuff. And I was saying, but obviously for him, how does he, how does it work with the Shabda Brahma? And obviously we know it's a language of the heart, really, you know, it's not. And he goes, this is no problem. He goes, Mahaprabhu will save him. And he was only two at the time. He was about two. And here he is now chanting pictures on the wall and all sorts. Uh, even that alone goes to show, again, that causeless mercy. It, it would just knock everything out of the way and just go straight to that source of where it needs to get to. So, yeah, so basically Gurudev saved my life. That's the only thing I can say. And I will and am totally indebted for that because before, you know, I was just rotting in this bed sit and here I am now in Wales beautiful family you know Guru Dave's just taking care of everything you know it's phenomenal and um, one verse I'd like to share which for me it totally imbues everything Guru Dave and uh, what we owe him is the um, Sri Guru Vandana of the um, Nama Straista Manamapi Sachi Putram Atrasarupam Rupam Tajagra Jamuri Parim Matorim Goshtavatim Radha Kundam Girivama Ho Radhika Madhavasham Prato Yasha Pratita Kripaya Sri Guru Tamna Toshmi. And the English translation, obviously, the first words are I am fully indebted to Gurudev because he's brought us to Rupa Man, Rupa Goswami, Sanat Goswami, Radha Kund. Um, Giri Rajko, all these things Gurudev's given us, also Srila Prabhupada and all other in the line. And it's phenomenal, you know, what he's given us. You know, I got, like I say, I can't glorify from where I'm at, but I try, you know, here I am today trying. So that's basically what I've got to say. And that's my sort of experience with Gurudev. So, yeah. Dandavats, Hare Krishna. Uh, <clears throat> Bran Vala Prabhu, what you've said, in essence, everything that you've said, you know, I was just, th I was just uh, thinking about <laughs> myself when I uh, met Srila Gurudev, and uh, I was, th I've always, I've always think, I thought to myself, you know, why me? You could have picked anyone in this world. Why, <laughs> why did you, why did you pick me? Uh, and I've always, always kept that with me. But there's one thing that um, you said right at the start, which was that, you know, when you stood up uh, and when you met Srila Gurudev and, um, you know, everyone was answering why they want to take Diksha and then you said that you had a problem. And Gurudev used to emphasize this, this thing about being honest. Mm. This honesty. Uh, and actually without this honesty of realizing who I am and what I am, then Sri Guru can't do anything. Mm. Even though Srila Guru knows everything. But until we're honest and, and actually become a glass, then Srila Guru can find them, them, them anathas that we can't, like, it's like taking a thorn out of your foot. You have to use another thorn. So sometimes, you know, Guru Dev has to, it's so, sometimes so deep within, the, within ourselves that we can't even see it. But, you know, Sri Guru sees that thorn and we have to be honest with ourselves. And, and, then, and I genuinely think that your honesty was another reason for why Srila Gurudev 
gave you everything. And you can see that in the way you speak and the way you appreciate Srila Gurudev and the way you are now as a disciple. You can see that uh, within you. And I've seen it personally from you of how dedicated you are towards Srila Gurudev. And I just, you know, you, you took me back and made me realize so much things. So I really, really appreciate it. And um, I'm sure if you show that the number wants to add something uh, to that, but thank you so much. Whatever you've said is just unreplaceable yeah. and magical. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So anything for Guru Day and his disciples, you know. Yeah. Hadi Bol Pran Balaba. But you you really touched me, man. It's not mm. not easy to make me cry. <laughs> uh, actually, this it it's easier than you think. Actually, that, uh, <laughs> the tear ducts were starting to come. In fact, you reminded me the other day. I was reading a uh, um, a beautiful parable out of the book of Matthew uh, about Jesus' teaching, and it taught about it's uh, the parable of the wheat. And the farmers went to Jesus and they said. Um, they said, Jesus, if we cut the wheat now, we'll we'll cut the weeds. Oh, sorry, if we cut the weeds now, we'll cut the wheat at the same time. So mm -hmm. Jesus said, Don't don't cut it now, wait till the harvest, and then the wheat will be long and luscious, and then you cut the weeds then, and then you'll get the wheat and the weeds will go. Mm -hmm. And for some reason the Christians or this interpretation was something about end of days, and you basically everybody who hears the uh, the word of God, they'll grow, and those that don't will wither. But I read it very differently. I thought this is Gurudev's path, Ragmag. So you were saying how, why did Gurudev give this mantra to me? Why did he give me Diksha when I could only chant a day, uh, one or two rounds, whereas other people he was saying different things to? Because he obviously could see that if you got that spark of love, that fire in your heart, then that would carry you through. So your wheat would flourish and the weeds would fall off. Uh, as he said, they had no foundation anyhow. And this was so Gurudev's mood. He made you, he gave each one of us this spiritual confidence not because we thought so much of ourselves, but that we have total faith in Gurudev. And, and often we walk around as human beings in a condition of having low self-worth. Most people on this planet have a, a, an insecure conception of themselves. But what Gurudev does, which is so amazing, is he says, don't worry about focusing on your own lack of self-esteem. This is not important. Just have faith in me that I can deliver you from this world. I can take you to Kaloka Mandavan. If I can put you in my pocket, I can take you to Radharani. And, and what you shared with us was absolutely emblematic of, of, of that aspect of Gurudev's heart, which is um, what keeps me getting up in the morning with enthusiasm is knowing that Gurudev is like that. And you sharing that with us just, um, uh, just makes a, a bright rose even rosier. So I'm so grateful to you for sharing so openly and plainly and honestly. And uh, I think everybody was touched by what you shared. So thank you so much. No problem. And just one thing is also, as I forgot, is obviously, for, as everything, I had to engage in the higher before the lower could go. And that's yeah. exactly what Gurudev is doing, you know, not first get to this stage, you know, have this and by engaging in this. And it's throughout that 20 years of craziness, I could see slowly, slowly, this is what was happening. So, And that principle, Prabhu, that belongs with his common refrain, do not criticise. Yes. because we shouldn't criticize others because we're all growing mm -hmm. we're all growing so it's no point in looking at each other's faults we should always look for the white spot on the black sheet or the or the yeah i think that's the right way or whatever color yeah. it is look for the white spot yeah there's only one spot even if it's half a percent that's all you care about it doesn't matter mm -hmm. just concentrate on the beauty um so thank you Prabhu, would you mind um posting do you know how to use zoom chat we yeah, I've used it a couple of times with, uh, but yes, I'm sure. Just, just post me your, just go Zoom chat from you to me directly. Just give me your number. I'd love to call you. Yeah, I'd okay. love to connect no with you. If, if 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 you get if I have your permission, I really I was yeah, very no inspired worries. by what you said. Okay, no worries. Okay, okay. Dunbar Pranams, brother. Thank you so much. Okay, hi, Bo. So. Um,